With the Bison quarterback, incumbent quarterback uh, Cam Miller joins us uh, here from uh, Bison Media Day. And uh, summer go uh, summer go well. Uh, you get a chance to kind of unplug a little bit from football. I did. I had a few weeks over the fourth, and then. Um, during our May break, I kind of used that time to just kind of mentally take a break from football. Um, and I feel like that really helped me mentally and physically as well. Um, and then we hit the summer running, and I thought we got a lot better this summer. I did. Uh, you come in, uh, you're, you're the incumbent this year. It's a little bit, you're not sharing time. You're right now the incumbent. And uh, I, I talk about your mindset coming in. That's maybe not so much physically what you're doing, but trying to be a leader. And I know you, you're, uh, your coach, uh, Coach Enns, has really said that, that you're, you've stepped up at that level. Yeah, you know, I feel like going into my third year, I feel like I have done enough on the field to gain the respect of my teammates, and that also comes from doing the right thing off the field. And I feel like my teammates respect me, and um, so I just wanted to kind of take my leadership to the next level and, you know, really even even take charge of some of these upperclassmen who have done this for four or five, you know, even six years, um, just trying to make sure this program is moving in the right direction. And it's, it's kind of in your hands right now, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a role that... Uh there was a lot of people that would uh, a lot of people would kill to have this opportunity. Oh, for sure. When I went home, it was mid-July, and I just saw some of the kids from my hometown, and you know, I just know that they would they would do anything to be in my shoes. And you know, there's a lot of expectations to live up to, and uh, there's a lot of responsibility that comes along with being the starting quarterback here. And you know, I'm just trying to leave this place better than I found it, and that's going to be hard to do. Uh, do, you, do you still? Uh, your dad was a football. Your dad was a football coach. Uh, how much do you lean on him for advice? You know, he texts me almost once a day, and he just gives me advice for the day and stuff that I need to focus on and um, stuff that I can reflect on throughout the day. And I feel like that really helps clear my mind and you know know that there's um, there's more to football. You know, and just trying to find my purpose in life, I think, has been huge to my development in football so far. How about the, the young guys below you, Cole Payton, uh, that, that quarterback room? That's uh, It's got to be fun to, to you know, you got, you, you got a lot of talent behind it. And that's uh, and just the resources you have, running back, offensive lineman, just an embarrassment of riches. It's got to uh, make your job a lot easier. Oh, for sure. We have so many weapons that, you know, it's, it's kind of an offensive coordinator's nightmare, but also a dream, too, you know, trying to get these guys the ball and get enough touches to guys like Lipke, Sproles, um, you know, you got Tameric, Kobe Johnson, Bussy, all these guys that need touches, you know, um, and it makes it a lot easier for me because I feel comfortable that they're going to, you know, make a big play every time they touch the ball. How much, uh, how much do you work with the offensive line? I mean, what are kind of the things that you talk about in meetings? You know, we, we try to emphasize cadence and really just being on the same page with teams bringing pressures from various directions. So uh, just being on the same page, and I think playing in, you know, 10 games last year really helped build some chemistry with those guys too, and especially this offseason um, and just being around them so much. I feel like we've really kind of created a bond together. How much even going back to the spring season is odd and the thing, and you were you you were thrown into the mix. Uh, you look back at that now, just how much you feel you've developed as a quarterback and as a leader from that point, and it's really only been a little over a year. Mm-hmm. I feel like the only time that you can grow as a person and even an athlete um, is when you have to face adversity and. I, I struggled with that my freshman year. I didn't know how to deal with losing to Sam Houston and stuff like that. Um, but when I started to really find myself and found out that playing football isn't who I am, it's what I do. I'm not divine, d- defined by how I perform on the football field. Um, really helped clear my mind and just really all the pressure and, anxi- pressure and, and all the pressure really was removed from my shoulders after that. All right, uh, you, you, you seem like you're in a good place. Cam Miller, quarterback for NDSU, uh, appreciate the time. Good stuff. Thank you so much.